Hi, um, today I want to uh, teach you how to calculate federal and state income tax in 2019 and in the states of California. There's an assumption here. Let's just say Henry is a young single engineer, makes $100,000 per year, and he has a $20,000 saving in at his bank and about like a 2% interest, which interest amount is 400 in 2019. Then, uh, then he made a contribution 4% to his 401k in 2019. And besides this, he has no other retirement accounts, no other incomes. So this is a very um, typical situation for, you know, some people, they just uh, out of school, start working for a few years. So basically that situation, they only have, um, you know, salary income and some money in the bank. They make a contribution to tell, uh, their employer, uh, employer sponsored uh, uh, retirement account such as 401k. So it's a very typical situation. So in Henry's case, let's see his salary is $100,000. Then he made a 4% contribution to 401k, $4,000. Deducted from his um, salary income, then give him is $96,000. So this amount will show up on your W-2 form. What is the W-2 form? It's a form uh, your employer will provide to you um, at, a, uh, at the end of the January. Um, such a, you, if it's for 2019, it's for this year, 2020. So your employer should give you a W-2 form uh, by the end of the January 2020. So on the W-2 form, they will give you a box one um, number. So this is the number, uh, $96,000. So, so this is the salary after your contribution. So this number will go on your federal uh, 1040 uh, tax return form. Um, then you, yeah, if you have any other incomes, so basically this is from your employer. If you personally have any other income in Harry's case, he has some money in the bank, made some interest. So uh, it's 400 interest. So you add this interest to your uh, to your ninety-six thousand dollar, then give you AGI. You have to know AGI is a very um, a very useful number. They're gonna be used in all kinds of situations. So here, um, Henry's AGI is ninety-four thousand four hundred. This will go on your ten forty-nine AB. So uh, once you figure out the AGI, then you will uh, find out the, the federal uh, federal uh, taxable income. Uh, for federal IRAs give you uh, a single filer. Uh, Henry is a single person. Uh, so he has a standard deduction is 12,200. We assume, um, you know, Henry choose uh, standard deduction. Um, so uh, it's 12,200. So if you use AGI, this uh, AGI minus this standard deduction, this will give you a taxable income. So this is taxable income is 84,200 for federal. But for states, they have a different uh, standard deduction amount. Uh, for California, it's $4,537. Uh, 
So if your AGI detects this standard detection, you give you state's taxable income among its ninety one thousand eight hundred sixty three dollar. Um, once you figure out the taxable income amount, um, now you can uh, find out, you can calculate the federal tax, tax amount. So this will be based on federal tax bracket. How really ta federal tax bracket works? Um, well, since uh, there's more, uh, here is the tax bracket 10%. 12%, 22%, 24%, uh, they, there's more uh, bracket. Well, since Henry is taxable income only $84,200, so we only up to 24% bracket here. So how this works? So basically they tell you um, if you make $0 from all the way to $9,875, they will be taxed at a 10% rate. So anything above 9,875, um, below 40,125 will be taxed at a 12% rate, which is this number. Anything above 40,125 and the below, be careful here, is below your taxable income because Henry didn't reach it. Taxable income is below 85,525. So it's everything above 40,125 all the way up to 84, um, your taxable income gonna be taxed at 22%. Uh, uh, so, uh, you can see here we we're gonna say Henry actually um, usually people say oh what's your tax bracket then in this case Henry's tax bracket is 22 percent so uh, you can hear see here this is a difference of those numbers so this amount will be taxed at 10 percent 12 percent 22 percent then this is a tax uh, amount you simply you know tax rate times this one uh, then you give you tax uh, tax amount so you total them you this give you the federal uh, tax amount similarly for uh, California state tax bracket you can see here as well the tax tax they have more bracket here, but number is smaller. The one percent, two percent, four percent, six percent, eight percent, or the nine point three percent. So it's a very similar situation. If you are um, zero dollar all the way to twenty thousand uh, two hundred twenty uh, fifty five, then you're gonna be taxed at a one percent rate. So uh, yeah, anything above this 20, uh, below 31, so you're gonna be taxed at a 2%. Uh, so it's all the way to, at the end of here, is everything about $56,085, then below this taxable income, all the way to this table, taxable income. This number is taxable income. Um, is it taxable? You can see it's a taxable income minus this uh, bracket amount. Then give you this number. So this will be taxed at eight percent. So the rate times the uh, taxable amount then give you the tax amount. The total state's tax Henry has to pay is four thousand four hundred ninety-seven dollar. 87 cents. So the total federal state tax, uh, you just add them together. So it's 18,811 dollars 87 cents. So this is total um, tax. So we figure out, uh, we find out the how much Henry needed to pay uh, states and uh, pay federal and the state's tax. 
So here, I just want to mention a little bit uh, because it's a very useful term. Here called effective tax rate. They usually say, oh, what's your effective, um, you know, usually it's more like a comparison, you know, uh, your effective tax rate. Is it say you have taxable income 84,200, then you pay this much tax, uh, how much exactly the rate is. So you just use 14,314 divided by 84,200, then you're coming up is a 17, um, 17%. This is called your effective tax bracket. I think this is more useful when you compare, you know, if with other countries, say, you know, really how high the, uh, you know, you have to pay the tax in U.S. or compare with Canada. So, yeah, it's called effective tax rate. Um, similarly, you can do for effective tax rate for all states. It's, you know, you use this 4,000. Uh, four hundred ninety-seven point eighty-seven divided by ninety-one, um, ninety-one eight eight six three. Um, you coming up is a uh, five percent. Your effective tax rate in California is five percent here. Also, another thing I want to mention is, you know, uh, we all know your employers, uh, has to hold the tax for you during the year, but how much, you know, really they should hold for you, uh, for your income, uh, for your income tax is, if you have this much uh, federal tax, then you have a salary is this 100,000, if you use this 14,314 divided by 100, uh, sorry, darling, you can coming up, uh, you know, this 14.31%, uh, this rate. Um, this tell you, you should, uh, you know, hold your tax. Uh, hold your tax is about, you know, 14, uh, 14%. Similarly to the uh, state tax withholding, uh, you can figure it out, uh, you know, four thousand, you use it four thousand. Um, 4,497.87 divided by 100, you can coming up at 4.5%. This is about the rate you should hold for the tax. So that way, um, you know, y you, you have a, like a approximate uh, number in your head. Uh, if you hold enough tax, you know, for your uh, income uh, to avoid if you hold it too little, um, you have to pay uh, tax, um, you know, when you do the tax return, then you um, you may incur a penalty. Uh, you also don't want to pay too much, withhold too much, then you lost the opportunity to earn some interest on your money. So yeah, you hold the approximate, the, you know, the right amount is very important. So this is something, you know, you that's how you um, pay the states and the federal tax. Then uh, we all know, besides all those states, federal tax, we also have to pay Social Security, uh, Medicare. Um, also for the California, you have a, a California State Disability Insurance. This is... Uh, for the federal, you pay Social Security, Medicare. This one is actually called a FICA, FICA, um, called a Federal Insurance Contribution Act tax. So you add them together. This is something your employer already deduct from your income uh, every paycheck. So I calculate if you make a one hundred thousand dollar. Then you uh, contribute some to your retirement. Then you have to pay state, federal tax. Then you pay all the social security, med Medicare, anything else. So you really um, you can get in your hand. It's uh, it's six sixty eight thousand five hundred thirty eight dollar thirteen cents. 
this is the amount of money you really can get. So uh, next time when you think that you make a hundred K, then you should think about the number. Is it really about like a 68K rather than 100K? So you have to um, project your uh, living cost, your transportation cost, and your, uh, you know, uh, food or any other uh, demand, you know, for your life. You should base on the 68K is not 100K. So that way you, um, you know, you, you will living within your mean. Um, maybe you can um, do some saving as well. So, yeah, this is how you calculate the uh, tax um, to understand your incomes. Um, thank you for you to review my channel. Uh, wish you have a good one. Bye.